All right, so here were here are two questions out of section 2.2 .2 that was requested of me. Now this is number 10, but it may be a, a different number in your assignment. So just match up the problem. Here we have uh, y equal to nine square root of x over x. And they want us to complete the table or differentiate the function. All right, so the first part of it, they want us to rewrite rewrite the problem. And so we recognize that square root as an exponent is x to the one half. All right. And then, and now none of this is calculus. This is all algebraic, you know, um, rules, talking about your exponent rules. Now, if I want to combine my variables, if I had division, that means I would subtract my exponents. So they assume, you know, it's a one right here for your exponent. So that'd be one half minus one. That'd be nine X to the negative one half. So that's the first box. Yeah, they just wanted you to re rewrite it that way. In the second, they want us to differentiate. So you, know, you have the nine out front. So we bring this negative one half to the front. So it'd be times negative one half x to the negative one half minus one. All right. So multiplying the nine times negative one half is negative nine over two. And then negative one half minus one. If you were to do the math there, it's negative one half minus two over two. It's negative three halves. So that's what we got going on here for your exponent. All right. So that's the next box. Just negative nine over two or negative 4.5 x to the negative three halves. And then it says simplify. So if you want to simplify this further, you want to get rid of this negative exponent. So you bring the x to the negative 3 halves down to the denominator to make it positive. And this would be your final answer. Negative 9 over 2 x to the 3 halves power. All right, so that is number 10. Those are your three boxes there. All right, so this next one is 22. They give us f of x, pk square root of x. And they give us y equal to 3x plus 12. All right. So first of all, we can recognize that y is equal to f of x. So those two are the same. So I can rewrite this problem as y equal to k square root of x. So if that's the case, then that means y is equal to 3x plus 12 and y is equal to k square root of x. That means that they're equal to each other. All right, let's see where else do I want to go with this. So if I were to take the derivatives of both sides, it means the derivatives are equal to each other as well. So taking the derivative of this right side, of course, it's just going to be three. Taking the derivative of this left side, you know, if we go back to the idea that that's x to the, let me go here, x to the one half. Bring the one half down, subtract one from it. That'll be k over two x to the negative one half. And then bring it down bottom, k 
K to the, not K, uh, K over two square root of X. All right. So now I can solve for K by multiplying both sides by two square root of X. K is equal to six square root of X. And now I can take K, plug it back in right here. So six square root of X times square root of X equal to three X plus 12. Square root of x times square root of x is square root of x squared. You just multiply what's under your radicals. So that'll just be 6x. Subtract 3x from both sides, solve for x. So that'd be 3x equal to 12. Divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 4. So I believe that's all you needed there. Oh, okay, we can find actual K here because we can plug in for X. So K is equal to six square root of X. So plug in four here, six times square root of four, six times two, that'd be 12. All right, so K is 12 and X is four. Well, all you, all you wanted was K. Okay, so K is equal to 12. All right, so I believe those are the two problems that you asked for, 10 and 22. Let me know if you have any questions.